Joining me now, Dr. Marilyn Singleton, board-certified anesthesiologist and senior fellow at Do No Harm. Also with me, Xavier de Rousseau, PragerU personality and former Black Lives Matter activist. Dr. Singleton, we're supposed to be impressed because the Association of American Medical Colleges just penned this op-ed in the journal saying that neglecting DEI in medical education somehow jeopardizes the quality of patient care. Do you agree? Absolutely not. And you said earlier in your show about the Orwellian changing of words. There was a time when diversity meant meeting others and learning about other cultures and other people. And it did help us be better doctors. But this new DEI includes segregation, uh, so many resentments among doctors, among patients, and it's eroding the trust that for years, as they call it, divergent doctors and patients have trusted each other. Divergent doctors have worked with each other, all to the benefit of the patient, and they're trying to erase that now. Xavier, I've been hearing about this from my friends in the medical field, doctors in Boston. It's wild to what's happening in med schools. They spend a lot of time on transgenderism and gender dysphoria, you know, the detransitioning process. I mean, you might as well think the whole medical school is about that by the time they get through with it. But what does this tell you about where we are in a society where life and death decisions uh, and, and merit is kind of, it's not the primary concern for some. It's showing that America is not learning our lesson. How many times does it have to be apparent to us that DEI as the focus is not helping anybody? I mean, is this a groundbreaking concept that medical students should be learning how to actually practice medicine? Or better yet, our medical students should be preparing for the next time that China gets into a silly, goofy mood and decides to make a global virus that leaks out of their lab and comes and destroys our way of life. But no, that's too much to ask for. Instead, we are teaching our medical students to worship racism and in this case, Mother Earth. Oh, no, that was the best. She was wrapped up like a mummy in that outfit, too. I wasn't sure what that was all, but I should have, we, we should ask if we could just audit that class next time. <laughs> Xavier, I'm sure UCLA would be great with that. All right, the media is buying Dr. Singleton. It, it, they're buying this narrative on DEI, lock, stock, and barrel. Watch this. Diversity training and diversity in medical recruitment helps counter the well-documented biases that contribute to worse health outcomes for certain populations. Having doctors of different races and ethnic backgrounds and doctors who are trained to consider diversity and racial disparities is literally of life and death importance. Okay, Dr. Singleton, take it away. I tell you. I don't know who has instructed these people. And it's bizarre to me that people who have nothing to do with medicine are somehow predicting what's going to make a good doctor. There have been good doctors for years. And yes, I'm not denying that there have been some missteps, things like the Tuskegee experiment, but you can't keep pointing to that. That's not all doctors. And all patients just want a good doctor. Are you going to have patients turning down a kidney transplant from a person of a different race? I don't think so. And this is just trying to make we physicians tools of government social engineers. That's not why we became doctors. That's not why these poor students are going to medical school. They're going to medical school to learn some science. And way back when, before all this lingo and rhetoric, there was something called a social history. It's part of your medical history. And what did you ask in social history? You asked about people's living circumstances. Did they have mm. family help, et cetera? That's oh, how that's you learned matters. about patients. And yeah, that, you that's treated what them like an individual. People, yeah, and people if we not lose based that, on race. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's not just doomed. medical school. Yeah, Xavier, consulting giant McKinsey, has been one of the biggest peddlers of the DEI nonsense. But a recent report concluded that it's actually complete garbage. McKinsey's studies neither conceptually nor empirically support the argument that large U.S. public firms can expect, on average, to deliver improved financial performance if they increase the racial and ethnic diversity of their execs. Xavier, again, color-coding employment, and, and whether it's in finance or medicine, 
uh, or, or being a pilot. Uh, we just want the best of the best. That's exactly right. We want the best of the best. Why can we not just pursue talent and those who have the skill sets to be the best? Like you might have industries that are doing better because they're more diverse, but that's because there's more talented people there. Not because you went out of your way to go find 50 shades of brown to be in your company. I assure you that if you just prioritize skill sets the same way that you would do if there were all professional sports teams, it's all about merit as it should be. Exactly. I mean, let's let's take that same. They they understand talent and they understand how to cultivate it and find it. Dr. Singleton, uh, Xavier, thank you both.